Okay, viewers, sorry about my uh, attitude in the day, last episode. Um, I've, done, I've done some breathing and just relaxed a little bit during this, so um, anyway. Uh, I went ahead and used a Gemma coin because we really needed to say it since we haven't done it in a long time. Um, and, I made, and like I said, I went through the door because I was just freaking tired of not being able to get through it. I wish there was a way to change the camera angle. Ooh. Yeah, see, there are ways to, like, find out where uh, traps are by using Hand Pan to help you out a little bit, because he can't be hurt by him. That's right, that's how you change the camera. Okay. See, I never actually figured that out. In the, uh little videos, I was, not videos, but gameplay that I was doing while I was trying to make sure everything was still working. Apparently you can spin the whole room around if you hold R1. L1, apparently. Don't let me do anything with that. That's right, to lift a box, face the box, and push X. To throw the box, face the target, and press X again. You can throw boxes to activate switches, remember throwing a box will break, so aim carefully. <laughs> Damn it to hell! That is bullshit! Alright. There we go. I'm pretty sure I missed something in the last room. I can go back for it in a second though, if I'm right. Oh yeah, I totally something. So I'm gonna run back real quick. So I think that treasure chest was grabbable. Hey, you can only one. Bleh. You can only run one direction. Like you know, like the uh, band. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Stupid boy band. How do you get up there? Maybe something you do later. Maybe it's something you come back to. I'm hoping that's what it is, because I don't remember for the life of me. And I'm going to be trying to do this as blind as possible, just for fun. Like I said, unless I get absolutely stuck, that's the only time I'm going to use the guide. Uh, yeah, Gala card, sweet. My vitality was full. Okay, so okay, that's cool. Probably need some more experience, but I don't know. <laughs> Sweet. I'm just gonna take this battle because I think there's something else in this room, <coughs> and I want to check and make sure. I'm sorry, that was really gross, but it was just building up. There was nothing I could do to stop it. So I gotta tell you guys, I've been in a really good mood lately. Um, I'm just gonna tell you, um, I got my, I got a really awesome uh, vehicle. Uh, basically, it's a motorcycle. I'll just tell you. 
and um, I got it at a um, auction and I was thinking about you know getting myself a nice simple little project so I could you know give myself something to do whenever I have nothing to do on certain days like when I'm just bored out of my mind and I can't do let's plays you know and <clears throat> it ended up becoming something that's just like that, like really good for that. You know? Oh. Of course I can't see. So that sucks. I was taking damage from that because I couldn't see. This puzzle. Okay, switch the camera around. There, got it. Is there anything else in this room? Can I hit square instead of circle? I wanted to see what he was pointing at. Now I would cut out these battles, but there's really no point because they're not that long. And so... Yeah, there was no point in canceling that either. Uh, open... Sure, I'll let you open it. Now, if there ever is a trap detected, I think there is a way that you can open it. I think with Jack sometimes, and he will be able to disable the trap. So, um, don't worry about it too much. Okay, yeah. Spikes? I hate spikes. Pressing switches simultaneously. Whatever the heck. It's easy. That's all for today. So that's all it was, is a note on the wall that no one ever reads. So we've been in this room before, if you remember, right? That opens the two doors, so let's go ahead and go through this one. Funny that's just frozen into like the wall like that. Go ahead and cut that out. Okay, let's go ahead and take this battle on, since I don't like doing two in a row. that's supposed to do is make him move along the map. Oh yeah, there's never a reason for you to make Jack uh, defend, I don't think, that I... Like, off the top of my head that I really know about. So, yeah, don't worry about it. Uh, okay. I highly doubt there's anything in there. I can't remember if you sneak across the spikes if they hurt you or not. Let's open the chest ourselves, see if we get injured. No? Okay. It's usually those green ones that you have to watch out for. Let's hide your toes. Bring it on! No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> we got the bird like enemy and the balloon. <laughs> Wow, it's even the name of it, too. <sighs> I'm already getting tired of random encounters, what can I say? <laughs> yeah, there's one thing about games like this. That's one thing that will always get people, is the random encounters. I mean, they give you the option to skip them, but... If you skip them all the time... You know, you're gonna find yourself... Not getting anywhere with experience. Which can be bad. Yeah, nothing in this room we need to worry about. 
What about over here? Yes, this is a chest we want uh, hand pan to go and get. Because it will blow up. All that's left is the trap that's in there. If I'm correct, you want to throw these boxes from up here. Listen, I can't remember if you can get into a fight or not while you're holding, that's why I'm being careful. I always try hitting circle to run for some reason, even though that's not the run button. It's that middle area here. Maybe two of the fighters now. I'll just, I'll just go through. I'll let this one attack me though. Because I'm running out of encounter kills. <laughs> and not to mention, it only took one hit anyway. just right, and I was like, what the hell was that? <laughs> and it was nothing. It just scared me half to death. I was like, oh. I was afraid I was going to hit a cat in the head. I will be honest. I was like, oh no. Ooh. Is this the reward for releasing the trap? This is the worst reward I've ever seen. Keeper of the Ruins, come out. Don't complain, partner. Life is often like this. Let's get down with this quickly. You gotta love the music, though. Big ass spider, if you hate spiders. Sorry. <laughs> Yeah, that attack sucks. <laughs> Jack can use the Force Ability Accelerator by consuming 25 FP. Accelerator increases his metabolic rate and allows him to act faster. Also, when used with a fast roll technique, it increases the effect of the fast roll. Good luck! I don't think that attack can miss if I don't remember, if I remember that. Accelerator. Speed fan. One hundred and thirty-three damage! Hell yeah! After this we're probably gonna have to heal unless it somehow miraculously misses, which I doubt. Look how hand pan comes out. Now, most likely, if I did level up a little bit, I'd probably be doing better in this uh, situation, but oh well. into a demonic pit. That's pretty awesome. <laughs> That's right, victory fist pump. 64 experience, 200 gala, and we got a times 1.6 multiplier for our experience bonus rate. Still not sure how that works, but that's so cool. Someone's probably making fun of me right now. That's okay.
Don't touch anything. You need to start acting like an adult instead of a child. Huh? You complain too much. Act like a child is the secret of you. He's right. No, I'm just kidding. Hey, Hitman! The person in charge of this room is coming. Huh? That's a new. I don't remember the last time I saw one. What? What's an oo? The oo are a human subspecies who existed in Fogaya long ago. They were a race to steeped in nature and superior to others in wisdom and magic. It's no surprise this room was built by oo. So that's an oo, huh? Now. This is just an image of the oil that's being projected into light by their technology. Hey, Keaters! You tired of no one paying attention to you because everyone went to sleep? Those bastards, how dare they? <laughs> I'm just kidding. This must be an oil error machine used to trans transmit information. They can leave anything to the ages if they leave it in the form of information. I see now. That's a nice trick to call this place. Ruins of the <laughs> hey, who started to say something? No, the voice is speaking inside my head. Do not wish for Lilithia, whom the hell have set in my coffin. Lilithia's freezing breath, freezing palm, is a power which can be used only to destroy. Do not wish for Lilithia, whom the hell have set in the coffin. It is a blowing snowstorm of death. It's a tornado leading to misery, and it's the absolute power to destroy everything. Keep that level when you come up here. Except when you're annoying. Is it real? Was that an Ool talking? An absolute power to destroy everything? Don't rub against that. Hey, handpan. Where is Lilithia's coffin? No, wait. First off, what is a Lilithia? You must know. Don't ask me everything all at once. Even with my superior wisdom, I do not know anything, everything. Ah, I see. Well, it will do for now. Absolute power. Finally, maybe we found a clue to its location. Jack, what are you going to do with this absolute power? You will see. Either way, we'll have to find it first. Let's go and look for this Lilithia's coffin. Yeah, that sounds like a really smart, stupid idea. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, I'd say that for fun. There's nothing else you can do with that thing, so go ahead and leave. Not even gonna try putting the lithium into the computer, see what you come up with? Okay. Why does a man search for absolute power? Is it something he does for atonement? Why? Maybe to cut the binding change of his past. What will he wish for if he succeeds? Does he believe that absolute power will shine the light on his future? Find out now, what a man may not even realize is that absolute power may be exactly what binds him to his unforgettable past. <laughs> Save. Bidoo. There we go. And prologue three: A girl at the con convent. Is that how you say that? Ah, hell, if I know. She looks really happy, though. You gotta admit. Shaman, receive my thoughts. Guardian shaman. You calling me? Where am I? I do not I do not know this place, but I feel connected to it. <clears throat> Can you hear my thoughts, Guardian Shaman? Give me your name, then the contract of old will be made once more. Who are you? Who is calling me? And I'm I'm not a shaman. Hurry, shaman, give me your name. Phil Gaia will be covered in darkness again. 
Sean, give me your name. My name is... Cecilia, I think is how you pronounce that. Um, yeah, that's what I was going to leave her name as, so we're going to stick with that. So Cecilia is our next uh, party member. Shaman Cecilia, release my power from the seal library. Whoa. Please wait. Who are you? What do you mean by the sealed library? Cecilia. Cecilia. Guardian Shaman Cecilia. Cecilia! 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 Cecilia? Hey, Cecilia! You are so absent-minded! <clears throat> oh, what was I doing? Was that a dream? Were you daydreaming again? You're almost 17! You shouldn't daydream so much. You are so strange sometimes. I guess I am strange. But Holly, you're strange too. Why are you down on your hands and knees like that? Because I'm checking on you, and I'm not the one who's under the table. Oh, that's true. Right after the bell, there was an earthquake. You really don't remember? Yes, I crawled under the desk. Uh, yeah. And I heard someone's voice. Whose voice was it? Calling me a shaman. Hey, are you daydreaming again? <clears throat> you don't have time for that. How soon until you return to Adahide? Time goes by so quickly. You're turning 17, right? You should start telling everyone goodbye. Goodbye? If it was not a dream, whose voice was that? What was the voice trying to tell me? And what is this seal library? Thank you, Holly. It seems I don't have any time to waste. Wait! Ouch! Ow! <laughs> oh, Cecilia, you're so absent-minded. Are you okay? I heard your head, the ta head hit the table, and it was so loud. Is your head okay? Let me look at it. Oh no, you've got a huge bump. I'm worried about you. You are already pretty strange. Hope it doesn't get worse. You didn't forget to see Sister Mary and M Master Angie, did you? I know they are always busy, but you should go see them at some point. Liason board. To the person who took the lamp, please return it. <laughs> Someone stole a lamp. What do they think, a genie was in it? Pessimism is a feeling. Optimism is a decision. Okay. There's a globe showing the location of stars and some related magical equipment. Magic equipment? I don't say. Anything over here that I want? Okay. Wow, that's interesting. Herman Abbey, a holy school where people respect manners, culture, belief, and honor. You don't say? Mm, excuse me, I need to stop belching, but I have an indigestion again. That earthquake was such a shock. At first I thought I was convulsing, and that's why everything was shaking. Then I realized that my cup on the table was shaking too. I was so surprised, I almost screamed. Cecilia, do you mind if I tell you something? I was arranging the books and noticed that a book which should be here is missing. I'm irritated since it does not look good to have only the first volume of a series. Don't get me wrong, it has nothing to do with me caring about how this story ends. Well, anyway, if you find the next volume somewhere, would you mind bringing it back? Obtain an event item, which... Episode... or I guess that's right. Episode 1. Press user, its title caught your attention. Would you like to read it? Yes! <clears throat> An expert able to understand a crest and use the power from it is called a crest sorcerer. If the expert is a female, she is called a crest sorceress. Okay, any other books here? Nope, not there. Basic crest sorcery. 
The technique of construction magic is by combining two crests is known as crest sorcery. These crests enable users to cast magic without performing a large ceremony. It is the modern style of magic dynamics. Elemental Properties Elemental Properties classify the energy flow in characters of attack type magic as follows. Earth, Water, Fire, Wind, Ice, Thunder, Light, Darkness. Eight Property Classes The relations of those classes are Earth and Wind, Water and Thunder, Fire and Ice, and Light and Darkness. So, when using Wind against Earth or Ice against Fire, expect better results. There is attack magic that is pure energy and does belong to any class. These are known as non-elemental. The challenge of magic. Don't be afraid of failure. If you construct magic by mistake, you can just disassemble it. The thing you should fear is clinging to magic you constructed. Searching for new power depending on the battle and the situation is best. Have style and try different magic. De La Metallica. <laughs> That's what it looks like it says. <laughs> Perfect. This records, this records how alchemy was practiced during the period of the Great War. Many ancient techno techniques are considered forbidden territory in today's world. For example, planting life into metal. It is, if an unskilled sorcerer gained this book, the world's natural order could be overturned. For that reason, I sealed this book. If you would like to release the seal, obtain the key of knowledge. Then the essence of this magic book will be revealed. Don't say. Recommended Magic When you don't have that many crest graphs, make sure one of them is for HP restoring magic. Where there is life, there is hope. You can find a way out of any difficulty by staying alive under any circumstance. There are many useful attack magic spells as well. We recommend learning fire magic. Fire elemental magic is the most popular destructive magic and will often prove effective. It is useful against most elemental based creatures, except for light, elemental monsters, and undead monsters. Really? You think it would be good against undead monsters to burn them to a crisp? <laughs> anyway, this is another good stopping point, and then we might just continue on with Cecilia. Um, even though this is turning, like I said, into something where I'm just keep going until I'm done with all the prologues, which is probably what I'm going to do. So, let's look forward to that. Till then, everyone. Bye.